Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video. Today I'm talking about moisturizers for cold weather. Colder temperatures are here. Winter is uh, creeping up on our doorstep. Um, just the other morning there was like snow flurries and I was like, no, not ready. <laughs> my skin is like, no, I'm not ready. So today I want to share with you some of my favorite rich, thick, super moisturizing, super occlusive protective moisturizers that will keep your skin happy in cold temperatures. If you're so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right on in. And FYI, I'm gonna order everything in this video from the lightest texture to the thickest cream. So just so you know where these products fall, they are in order. First up, the Inky List Urea 10% Moisturizer. Wow, okay, I have to tell you, I have not used this in winter yet. This was actually just released. I've been using it for about a month as it has been actually quite cold um, during the fall and I love this. And a big reason why I wanna talk about Urea, specifically the ingredients but also this product is because urea is so good for cold weather because I don't know about you but when it gets really cold really windy really dry my skin gets really dry but the dryness actually feels irritated and kind of itchy that's where urea comes in this is the ingredient for dry itchy skin it relieves that itch so so well it is really a, a magical ingredient because it's got a lot of benefits number one it is a natural moisturizing factor so it actually helps to hydrate your skin great for dehydration and it actually helps to improve your moisture barrier function number two it's so good for softening dry hard calloused skin Skin. Urea is actually an approved treatment for psoriasis and those who suffer with eczema because it's good at breaking up the glue that holds all those extra dead skin cells in place, the things that build up and create those skin plaques. It actually helps to break all that keratin, melt it all down, soften that skin and help it gently kind of slough away so that you don't have that rough patch anymore. Now, if you don't have psoriasis or eczema, this can actually still benefit you if you get dry hands you ever get those like callousy patches on your hands in the winter or even just like really rough hard like um cuticles around your nails okay i get that all the time super super dry rough skin around my nails it's really hard to prevent it but it's super easy to treat it with urea so this is the lightest moisturizer on the list and i can tell you that like it's a little bit too light for my combination going towards the dry side especially in winter um, my skin finds this a little bit lighter Light. The texture is like a gel cream texture, lots of hydration, just a little bit of moisture, but it doesn't really have that really emollient, like more protective, thicker, occlusive feeling on the skin. It's much more light and more hydrating, but it does have that 10% of urea, which is a real, it's considered a high amount, a good effective treatment amount. And this texture, it's going to work for a variety of ways. And that's how I really look at this cream. It can be used as a moisturizer, but it's also a beautiful multi-purpose cream. And uh, urea is really my sidekick for winter. It is so, so helpful. Next up, I wanna talk about the Purito Centella unscented recovery cream. Now this is a really beautiful cream that takes all that calming, soothing centella, so good for irritated skin, and combines it with moisture barrier supportive ceramide, NP, and niacinamide. So the emollients include macadamia, nut seed, oil, and shea butter. You'll also notice on the ingredients list, spelt grain wax. Now wax ingredients are great to look for if you really appreciate those thicker moisturizers that seem to kind of like hug in all your skincare, or seal in, or have that occlusive feel to it. Waxes are a great occlusive ingredient that can really help to fight dehydration. So it's nice to see just from the ingredients list, we're seeing a great balance of moisturizing rich emollients and those protective occlusive ingredients. I love the texture of this. It is like, it's buttery, but it's not too thick. It's still on the medium side and it just feels so nice, so soothing, comforting, moisturizing, but not like oily and like overly rich and greasy on the skin. I think this is just such a beautifully balanced cream. It feels so, so good. Now I think that this is gonna be best if you're a little bit more like on the combination side, you're not like extremely dry, um, just because 
because this is, like I said, it's a more balanced, lighter, buttery version um, of a moisturizer. And remember, I am building up in thickness here, so this is gonna be on the lighter end of all the recommendations. But I love this cream even, like as a moisturizer, I actually think it's great. Um, I even sometimes use this as a slugging product, as a second moisturizer, right before I go to bed when I'm ex you know, experiencing extreme dryness because the benefits of this cream are so good. Yes, we've got the moisturization and the, and the occlusion. That's like super important. But we've also got the centella in here and the niacinamide, and those are really good at calming, irritated, inflamed skin. So when my skin is feeling a little bit like overly irritated or overly sensitive, this cream actually really helps to calm it, to soothe it, to add some extra moisture and protection to my skin. So another cream where we have some flexibility with use, but all in all, an absolutely beautiful formula from Purito. Next up, let's talk about the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's a classic for a reason. You know, this is something that's near and dear to my heart, but I'll tell you, it doesn't seem very exciting. The packaging is very clinical. You know, the ingredients, they feel very like no fuss, no frills, but there are some key elements here that are great to look for if you're looking for that hardworking wintertime moisturizer. First off, ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. You knew I was gonna say it, right? I'm always talking talking about this trio of ingredients, I call it the Holy Trinity because these three ingredients are the ingredients that make up the biggest portions of your skin's moisture barrier. And when your barrier is feeling weak or compromised, these three ingredients are the best to kind of get it back into shape. Now things like dehydration, excessive dryness, itchiness, psoriasis, eczema, these are all symptoms of a, uh, a moisture barrier that's not functioning properly. Either it's weak or compromised or there's something else going on. And so these ingredients can kind of get into your skin and help fill in the holes essentially with your moisture barrier, help strengthen it up and help your skin function better. Winter time is like a classic time where those uh, types of conditions do uh, seem to flare up, right? Your skin gets a little bit more dry. It seems like you're losing more hydration through your skin. If you're prone to eczema, you're probably getting more flare ups in cold weather than in other weather. Maybe, maybe, at least that's, that's my personal experience. Winter can be really harsh on your skin's moisture barrier, so it makes sense to build these ingredients into your routine to keep your skin strong. I also wanna shout out the petrolatum in this product. Now, this is our favorite ingredient that makes up Vaseline Aquaphor CeraVe Healing Ointment. Petrolatum is everybody's like favorite ingredient to slug with, right? To really seal in all your skincare at the end of your routine. Well, here we have a smaller quantity, not the same that you find in Vaseline, a smaller quantity right here in the moisturizer. And this is great because you're getting that occlusive element. Petrolatum is actually one of the best occlusive ingredients out there. And this is really what you wanna seek for if you're suffering with dehydration, because like I was saying, your moisture barrier, if you're dehydrated, your moisture barrier is not functioning properly. If you use an, a very occlusive ingredient like petrolatum, it actually acts as a temporary barrier on your skin. Because it is so occlusive, it doesn't let the hydration escape, and it doesn't let any of like that yucky stuff in either. It just really hugs your skincare in. It keeps the hydration and moisture in place. You usually wake up with glowing skin because it just hugs your skin so well. It's an awesome ingredient. And like I said, these are some of the key elements you wanna look for for a really good wintertime moisturizer. What I love about this cream and why I keep coming back to it year after year after year is the texture. This is a medium weight cream texture. It seems to do all of its moisturization inside of your skin, meaning you're not left with a greasy, shiny top finish on your skin. You know, some moisturizers feel like they just sit on top of your skin and they make you look really greasy. This doesn't do that. It actually just like absorbs in really, really nicely, really gets in there, really moisturized, soothes and comforts the skin. It has this like, um, almost this like matte in a way sort of finish, a very neutral finish to it. Leaves your skin super silky soft on top, but just not greasy. Another favorite moisturizer of mine is the Iliune Ceramide Aid concentrate cream. Another one that's been with me for many years, right? I absolutely love this product. It was recently reformulated and it actually was a significant reformulation. You know, sometimes they'll change products, they'll tweak the ingredients and everybody will get upset because it changed, but like the actual product hasn't really changed in how it functions or how it feels, right? No, this was actually a significant change that made the product very different. It's um, a lot more emollient, a lot more rich, a little bit 
thicker now maybe some would even say a little bit heavier on the skin so a significant change i do have a video if you want to really dive into like what has changed i do have a video about this that you can check out so what changed with the ingredients list the core here is still ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids but what they've done is they beefed up the emollients they've added more oil ingredients in here and they've also beefed up the occlusive elements with the use of dimethicone another good occlusive ingredient to look for in moisturizers if that's something that you appreciate so that's really where the changes have come in there's more moisture and there's more of that like hug it in seal it type of quality to this moisturizer it's really buttery and you definitely do feel the extra moisture in this I still feel like it's not a greasy moisturizer but if you're doing a big comparison between the old and the new you're gonna notice some differences a lot more uh, richness to this that my my drier skin now really really appreciates and um, I do still feel like it absorbs in it does the moisturizing inside of the skin it doesn't leave that shiny finish on top of your skin but it definitely has more heft to it a more protective feel and actually it's thicker than CeraVe moisturizing cream now. Yeah, remember I told you I ordered things a specific way. Iliune comes after CeraVe because the new formula feels a little bit thicker. I mean, these are very small differences. There's not a huge, you know, difference in, in the thickness, but if I had to split hairs and go side by side, the new Iliune, a little bit more buttery, a little bit more rich, a little more protective, and just a little bit thicker than CeraVe. Next up is the Pyongyang Yule Black black tea enriched cream. Now this is thick and buttery and rich and just a little bit more occlusive than Iliune is, but it has a kind of a similar focus. It definitely has that ceramide cholesterol fatty acid focus to it, along with protection from lots of antioxidants and a focus on soothing extracts like centella and beta-glucan. So the texture is rich, it's buttery, it's thick. You see this is a very stiff cream. We're definitely building up in thickness, but as you warm this up on your skin, it just like melts into your skin. I would say it has the same kind of heft or weight on the skin as Iliun, but because it's a little bit more emollient in the feel and it's more occlusive, it does seem to have like a a thicker presence on the skin if that makes sense like it just protects your skin better from dehydration it seems to moisturize even just a little bit better because there's some more emollient elements in the cream and if you are suffering with dehydration you definitely want to look for that occlusive element in your moisturizer that might be the one thing that you're lacking that's going to really help kind of like protect your skin from losing so much dehydration and waking up with that really tight itchy feel we've talked about a lot of those ingredients that you can look for when you're shopping for moisturizers of course you know my recommendations are <laughs> up for you as well but if you're looking at moisturizers and you're wondering is this going to have that occlusive protective feel look for petrolatum dimethicone wax elements these are great occlusive ingredients that are going to fight that dehydration and help seal in all the moisture to help with dryness too so next up, I want to talk about the Avene Sea Calfate Restorative Skin Cream. Now, this is my recommendation for a thick healing cream for vulnerable sensitive skin because this is a Sika cream in French pharmacy. Now we know Sika creams, us KBD fans, as Centella products. Um, but in French pharmacy, Sika really refers to a healing cream that's good for skin that is really, really sensitive or damaged that needs to be protected, uh, babied and healed. And so that's exactly what this does. It is like a no nonsense, no frill ingredients list they are really getting it done with less here so you'll see mineral and vegetable oils bringing in the emollient elements and then we have beeswax and microcrystalline wax and these are the occlusive elements so we're getting that good balance of moisture that good balance of protective occlusive ingredients and then we have the healing ingredients so copper and zinc sulfate really help to promote healing on the skin and they help with your skin's microbiome and a healthy skin microbiome actually helps a healthy skin barrier 
everything is connected. So although this cream seems really simple on the surface, there is actually some powerful um, benefits in here helping to promote healthy skin and to promote healing. This texture, <laughs> you know, I have been building up in thickness and this may not maybe look as thick as like the stiff like Pyongyang Yule cream we just talked about, but let me tell you, this definitely has a very occlusive, very protective feel on the skin. And again, I am really recommending this for the most vulnerable, sensitive, really, really dry skin because this has a texture similar to a sunscreen. <laughs> I'm really selling it, right? It does actually remind me a lot of a sunscreen because it is something that it's gonna take a little bit to work it into your skin. Um, it does actually seem like it has a little bit of a white cast. It goes away once it's absorbed, like there's no white cast here, but just like if you don't like fully work it into your skin, there will be white streaks because it just it just has not the the most elegant buttery quickly absorbed texture again this is like a healing ointment um so just kind of know where this this lands but when your skin is ailing it feels amazing it is so protective it is so moisturizing there's such a soothing quality to this you wouldn't think it because it's just such a simple formula um but it really does help heal your skin up and it's actually so occlusive that it's great for protecting your skin when you go out into the harsh elements too so it's just all around a really nice protective cream simple but to the point so those were some of my top recommendations for moisturizers that have really helped my skin in cold weather but i do want to talk about a couple of like hints and tips for really customizing your moisture routine in winter because it's not always just about finding like i've said this before it's not about just finding the thickest heaviest cream and just using that all winter long so i want to give you some ideas outside of just specific moisturizer recommendations some ideas on how you can customize moisture in your routine so one of my favorite ways to amp up the moisture in addition to a moisturizing cream is using an oil I love oils especially if your skin is feeling really dry if it's flaking at all you need oil um, and if you're noticing maybe even dullness or dehydration with your skin you might think about adding an oil into your routine because the extra moisture can actually really help to revive your skin so some of my favorite oils that I turn to in cold weather one is the ordinary bee oil this is such a great blend it focuses a little bit more on omega-9 fatty acids but there is a blend of omega-3 and omega-6 I do have a video about oils if if you want to kind of dive more into the concept of fatty acid profiles I will link that video for you so you can check it out after this one but um, bee oil has a really nice blend for a very affordable price a medium weight texture this is not for oily skin in my opinion it's a little bit more of a medium weight texture to it but if you want to blend it into your moisturizer um, it feels so good it works really well that way or underneath I think it is such a lovely one it has kind of a calming element to it and I've been using it a a lot in cold weather my skin just really drinks it up the ordinary borage oil this is a 100% oil just focusing on borage which has a high content of omega-9 fatty acid now if you have classically dry skin listen up omega-9 is what you need um, in your skincare routine and this is one of the ways to get it is through an oil like borage oil this really is a very emollient very rich um, it's got a great um, antioxidant benefit too but it really helps to moisturize very very dry skin now another oil blend I love Stratia Fortify been using it for years and it always seemed to help my skin barrier and help with my dehydration and I never knew why I was just like this is the oil that works for me but as I learn more about skincare and as I go further in my journey I found out that this product is really balancing the ideal amounts of omega-3 6 and 9 fatty acids and that is like I was saying you know um, definitely the focus on omega-6 really helps with my dehydration but I do get a little bit more dryness so it's nice to have a balance with the omega-9 in there um, and that really seems to suit my skin and it is um, something that is a little bit thicker a little bit more on the medium side and it definitely feels so so good in winter time it helps to calm irritated skin too like it just has like a calming effect it helps to reduce redness and inflammation it is a really beautiful like well-crafted blend of oil 
oils. And let's quickly talk about slugging. This is something that is very beneficial in cold weather. I've been talking about this a lot in my fall content, but a lot of those tips really do translate into winter time too. If you feel like your skin is really drying out as you're sleeping, feeling really dehydrated, itchy or tight, it's just like not feeling good or just that feeling that like your skincare routine like that you did at night is not carrying you through to the morning when you wake up. You know that feeling? You might be a great candidate for slugging. So one of the ways you can do it is with a petrolatum based product. Remember that is like a very occlusive ingredient. And so you can find a high quantity in Aquaphor healing ointment um, or even CeraVe healing ointment. Those are two of my favorites. Of course, Vaseline is on the table too. Another way that you can slug is with a sleeping pack. And I do find this to be a more elegant option. And especially if you're somebody who's a little bit afraid of putting maybe too many layers or too thick of layer on your skin, maybe the petrolatum products aren't right for you. Sleeping packs are designed to work with your other skincare layers. They're designed to have a little bit more of a uh, elegant um, texture because they're dedicated to being that final layer on your skin where Vaseline, CeraVe healing ointment, Aquaphor, those are multi-purpose balms essentially to be used in a variety of manners where this is a dedicated skincare product. But if we're really talking about sealing things in, one of the best sleeping packs in my opinion that I've come across for that is the IU unique propolis sleeping pack. This is great because it's got that kind of balmy ointment like texture that you might run into with like CeraVe healing ointment, but it actually absorbs in the skin a lot better. It has a little bit more moisture to it. It's not as thick and it's got some brightening benefits to it as well. So not only are you fighting the dehydration, sealing in on your skincare, but you're waking up with a awesome glow because you've got these gentle brightening ingredients working for your skin as well. So something else that I like is the Purito Dermide Barrier Sleeping Pack. Now this is a little bit more focused on sensitive skin, strengthening up your moisture barrier. We have Ceramide NP, we've got Centella in here to soothe and calm the skin. And I told you a variety of textures. This one is a little bit more of like an airy kind of cream texture. It's not really thick. Um, it definitely adds moisture to the skin, but it doesn't overwhelm skin that maybe already has a layer of moisturizer on it. You can also replace your moisturizer with this, but again, no rules. Really feel free to experiment here and find out what works for you because at the end of the day, your skin is individual. How it's reacting to cold weather is individual. And it's just about figuring out like what feels good and what feels right. And so here are just a couple of ways some ideas for experimentation so you can figure out your perfect winter routine. So let us know what's your favorite cold weather moisturizer. Let me know in the comments and let me know if you tried any of these products, what do you think? If you love this video, if it was helpful for you, please consider hitting subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I release a lot of new videos just like this one, all about sensitive skin, all about skincare, all about K-beauty. So hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when the new videos or the short come out. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I cannot wait to see you in the next video, and I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me today. Bye.